can't get over how much better he looks already. Well, I'm no doctor, but I, I think it's probably maybe because he doesn't have to work so hard to breathe anymore. Mom's looks happy, right? Mm-hmm. He's gonna smile or something. It's my boy. Take him home. Pretty soon, I hope. This this little one's been in the hospital way too long. It's high time he gets home and stays there for good. By the way, they're talking outside. He's gonna sprout wings and fly home soon. By the way, who's who's talking? David and Scott Chandler. I never thought I'd hear, but David Hayward is making Chandler Enterprises sound like the second coming. And again, it's important that you realize that a large share of the credit goes to Chandler Enterprises for stepping up to the plate and pushing forth with this new technology. They put their reputation on the line, along with their money, and as a result, a young boy now has another chance at life. And I know I speak not just for my surgical team, but also for the parents of the boy when I express my heartfelt thanks to the Chandler family. Go ahead. You know, I trust your taste implicitly. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you then. What was that all about? Ah, it was just uh, having a little celebration uh, to uh, salute our success. Thanks to our foray into med tech business, Chandler Enterprises is on its way back to prosperity. Don't you think you're being a little premature? No, I just checked into the hospital. Ian Slater is doing amazingly well. And uh, Scott's holding a press conference with Hayward, who has no choice but to sing our praises. All in all, it's, uh, we're uh, pretty much uh, on a forward momentum. <laughs> Did you ever think that you might be setting us up for an execution instead? You're being paranoid. No, this is not paranoia. Ian Slater has a ticking time bomb in his chest. Don't brush this off. You heard what Chappelle said. There's a 60% chance that this valve will fail. And when we have to rip open his chest and fix the mistake that has Chandler logo stamped all over it, you're gonna have more than a few stockholders screaming for your head. You're gonna have Zack Slater over here with knives out, aim for your neck. All right, all right. If we had known that the problem existed, we would have stopped the operation, of course. But the, ch the child was on the operating table. So what's done is done. We just must keep a positive outlook and thank God for the good press. You're playing with a child's life. Do you have any idea what Zach will do if our valve kills his kid? All right, enough. So we all keep our mouths shut and we wait. The longer the child lives, <laughs> the uh, better it is for our company. And simultaneously, the better it is for our family. What about Ian's family? No parent should have to bury their child especially over a stupid mistake that never had to be made. Well, he's going to be an amazing man when he grows up. Look at all the battles he's fought already and won in his short little life. I mean, anything the world throws at him, he's going to be able to handle. It's the cane in him. <laughs> With those eyes and that very disarming smile. It definitely, definitely comes from his daddy. <laughs> Beautiful curly hair from you. <laughs> I'd say he's the perfect mix of you and Zach. Mom, Zach and I are not together anymore. And we're not getting back together, just in case that's where you're headed. I was merely pointing out that I think this baby got the best of both of you. I know how your mind works. You see Zach and me being civil to one another, and you picture us back together. Well, would that be the end of the world? It would involve two people who no longer exist. 
We've changed, both of us. I've moved on, and so has Zach. And we've both accepted that. So I think you have to now. The only thing we share anymore are the boys. During this time, she loved me, and only me. And I loved her. I think you still do. I certainly hope that your parents' pig-headed stubbornness skips a generation. All right, for now, that's all the information I will be able to provide, so... What will the parents be making a statement, and can you give us any information on just who they are? We maintain strict patient confidentiality here at PVH. The parents right now are focusing on their son's recovery. If and when they decide to come forward will be their decision entirely. But until then, I urge you to please respect their privacy, and remember they're going through a difficult time right now. Now, I'd like to hand this over to Mr. Chandler for any questions you might have, as I have work to do. So thank you very much. Thank you. Can you elaborate on what makes the Chandler valve so revolutionary? Yes. Hey. Uh, well, I just thought we'd see what the circus was all about. We appreciate this question. Oh, no, no. Are you kidding? I mean, you've been through enough stress already with Ian's heart failing. Last thing you need is to get sucked into this mess. And we're not out of the woods yet. Is that it? Yeah, look, Ian is doing fine. Okay, but as I told you, the first three days following any valve replacement is most critical. I was just referring to the inevitable revelation that Ian is part of the Erica Kane clan. So, that's going to open the press floodgates. Enjoy your quiet way again. What is it? What's wrong? Something about David. There's something he's not telling us. Zach, I know David's not on your best friend list, but he just saved our son's life. And he saved mine earlier this year. So why do you have to think the worst of him? You're right. We shouldn't share our feelings anymore. Is everything okay? Zach thinks that David's not telling us. Like I said, let's drop it. Well, Ian's gonna be home soon. And then it'll be like this nightmare never happened. Listen, I just got a call from Adam, and uh, he seems to be in a mood to want to celebrate little Ian's very successful surgery. And uh, he'd like to do that tonight. Just going to have a, a small party at, at the mansion. He'd like us all to be there. I'm going to stay with my boy. Well, I don't blame you for that. Be you guys go. Have a good time. You don't go to Adam's celebration party? No, no way. I can't celebrate, not until Ian's home safely. What is it you saw in David's eyes that made you feel so uneasy? I saw lies. You were at the press conference. Who was that? What happened to David, self-confident and arrogant? What happened to him? I know who that was talking out there, mentioning Chandler, I don't know how many times. Something is wrong. No, I, 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 I can't think that way, Zach, I can't. Not when Ian is alive, and that valve is why. Yeah, you want to celebrate, I get that. I want to celebrate, too. It's all I want to do is celebrate. But I've got this feeling, and I don't know what to do with Okay, it. well, I think right now we need to just concentrate on Ian and getting him home safely and keeping him healthy. Well, he'll stay healthy. God help them all if he doesn't. You seem a bit preoccupied. You should lighten up. It's supposed to be a celebration. I'm just kind of overwhelmed, that's all. After months of planning, and suddenly the valve is actually inside a human being. I never thought I'd see the day. 
You almost did it. What do you mean? If I had installed that valve for standard procedure, Ian Slater never would have made it off the operating table. You guys were sloppy with the anchoring system. If I had sutured the device as designed, you would have had backflow problems right from the get-go. I had to improvise to fix your company's screw-up. So I suggest you go back to the drawing board. Fix it before you use it again. But Ian's gonna be all right, though, isn't he? Yeah. Thanks to me and the fact that I know what I'm doing. Because if anything ever happened to Zach Slater's kid, we'd all end up in the desert somewhere after an unfortunate accident with a wood chipper. So again, I suggest you get your R&D act together. Fix that valve. And be quiet about it. I think it's time for a little coffee. Do you want some? Ian? Ian! What's going on? He doesn't look right. He looks fine. Zach! I need some help in here. Something's wrong with my son. What is it? What's going on, Tucker? Look, look, nothing. I mean, the, mo the monitors are quiet. Ian seems okay. Just check him out, please. It's nothing that seems... That would indicate that something's wrong. Nothing that well, something is wrong. It, it, look at him again. There's, I can feel it. Something is going on. Please. Who is he? He's the same as he was a few minutes ago. Check him again. Okay, Zach, you're beyond exhausted. You need sleep. I don't need sleep. I need him to check him again. Maybe you should listen to your wife. Excuse me, ex-wife. Page Hayward. I'm gonna tell you the same exact thing that I'm telling you. Just do it. I see that we still have a communication I'm gonna ask problem. you one more time. Paige Hayward, now. This better be good. Did you get Ian Slater's vitals? You sent them to my PDA, right? Yes, and? They look great. Well, I said that to Kendall and Zach, but Zach is flipping out. All right, then give him a sedative. Why don't you try giving Zach Slater a sedative? He wants you to come by and see Ian as soon as you can. <laughs> What's the matter? He doesn't have any confidence in the great Dr. Martin? Can you do that or not? All right, just tell him to relax. I'll be there soon to check on Ian. Fantastic. What a charmer. All right. Well, he said he'll come by as soon as he can. It's not good enough. You stay with Ian. Wait, where, where are you going? Don't take your eyes off my son. Get your ass to the hospital and save my son. You really don't have to do this. Zach was just overreacting. Maybe not. What? What's happening? It's his heart. Stay here. It's my boy in there. All right, look, you want me to look after your son, right? I cannot do that with you hovering. You know, you know, it's amazing what medicine can do these days. What's going on here? Well, perhaps you could better articulate. Your, your nephew, Scott, throughout the whole operation, he's just looking like he's expecting the worst. Yeah, well, um, it's a very delicate procedure. And then you got Hayward. Comes to me and he says, we're not out of the woods yet. But he's got that tone, you know? And then here you are. Why are you here? What's going on? Well, my company owns the uh, heart valve. I know. And if anything happens to my son because of it, if he suffers for one second, I will kill you. Here's Ian's developed a mild arrhythmia. Okay, well, mild doesn't sound so bad. 
He's showing signs of edema in the hands and the legs. What does that mean? Damn it. Increase the medication. What is that? Why are the alarm's going off? What is that? It's his heart. I asked you to wait outside. He's my son. What's but going on? But you're not on? helping. It's a lot easier for us if you wait outside, you guys. No, Jake. Okay. Jake, he's our little no, boy. No, I understand that. I understand. But it's, it's better for us and it's better for Ian. Look, wait outside and I'll come and find you as soon as I know what's going on. I promise. I promise. So what do you think? Infection? I'm afraid it could be something else. Like what? There was a problem in the OR. What kind of problem? Backflow from the valve. I patched it up, but there's a chance it didn't hold. So the blood is backing into his heart. I knew it. It's all over their faces. Who? Adam, Scott, Hayward. They're hiding something. Our boy's going to pay for it. Wait, Zach. What are you talking about? The press conference. And now, Adam, he's... There's something we don't know. All right. I know you said you had suspicions about David, but I thought it was just a gut feeling. Well, it looks like my gut was right. How's Ian? We, we don't know well, yet. They're, it, they're working on him right now. Is, is it the She just said we don't know. Are you okay? No. I don't know what to do, Ryan. I don't know what to do. Is it the valve? We're still waiting for word. I need to ask you a few questions. Jesse, can't you see we're in the middle of something here? What a coincidence. I'm in the middle of something, too. Pesky little thing called a suicide investigation. What the devil are you talking about? You didn't tell him. I just had your friend Dr. Chappelle delivered to the morgue. He killed himself. You were right. Something's wrong. What? The valve? Yes. What's wrong with it? 